Kira and I went out for a nature walk and we found all kinds of cool stuff. Especially a lot of different leaves. Okay, you wanna put the leaves out? So we got... This big ginormous leaf. Yeah. And we got this. Ooh, yeah, and we found this. Like kind of a bee's part of a nest. You think it could be part of a beehive or a wasp hive? Yeah. A wasp's nest, I think is how you say it. So put that there. We definitely have to draw that. Let's see what it's else we got. It's going to be kind of hard. So we know that these came from the same tree. Right? They're just maybe different ages. Yeah. We saw some that were um, coming up. We saw them. Yes, most were. of them were from the same tree. Mm -hmm. They were going to be sprouting soon. So but we'll draw... this one oh, is yeah, not. Yeah, turn that one over because that one's got a beautiful color. Wow. I love that kind of orangish red color. And it's a beautiful complement. Look how it complements. It's really cool. The green, when you put it with the green. And then I found this humongous colors. leaf Ooh, that yeah. almost is the size of my hand. Wow, that is huge. It's almost bigger than my and hand, And then we found some sticks. And some sticks. Okay, let's move some of these out of the way and we'll make room for the new ones you found. Look how huge that is. I think this one I found first. Yeah. That's one you found. Right, so we found some great sticks. I think these could make really cool yeah. lines and we could even make letters out of those. We could write, make it like draw a message. Like this. Make letters. Yes. What letter are you making? K. Okay. Yeah, break this. There. Ooh, K. Alex, good. There's your K. Oh, but just I love all the color on that one. And yeah, it's that. so cool and it has a lot of dots. A lot of this dots. This one I think I spotted, but it's not going to be easy to draw. No, but it's got, I love the shapes. I the found shapes. this one on the way home. Mm-hmm. That's a really good one. You want to lay that one down? Yeah. Is this one similar to it? Kind of. Yeah. You can open them and then you can make it flat. You can you make kind of what? You, you can kind of open it and make it flat. Make it flat. This one I think is neat. It's got a kind of a different shape on the, the outside pattern or the outside line. Yeah, it's kind of kinda pokey. Kind of pokey. And then this one's also pokey. Very pokey. Let's see what else Ooh, there is. Pokey. And there's this one that's such that beautiful green color. So nice. And this one's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. It's like a really kind of dark green over here, purple, and then a bright green over here. Mm-hmm. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I think you found it. Mm-hmm. So we have, an, uh, we have an identification book, so we're going to see where some of these leaves, what tree they come from. Look at this. E All right, I the vision book is right Identification. here. Identification. Identification. Good. And the, the tree identification book. The tree identification book. Awesome. Can't really see it. Yes, then we have some awesome leaves. Mm -hmm. And now we can see what it, what it comes from. You probably can't see this. But it has the name of the tree, and then it has the leaves on the tree. Yep. This one. That one? All right, yeah. let's, see. let's see. here. So we don't, are any of those Ooh, I think I know which one that one is. Yellow, green, B? It's saying beneath, it's yellow, green. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. That's some of the branches. Are we getting closer? It definitely does have those teeth marks on the But it's of the not leaf. as tall as that. But it doesn't curl around at the bottom. It kind of goes straight at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, pick up the leaf. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Definitely not a leaf.
Hmm. Oh, I think I see it. Where, where? Is it close to that mulberry? The white yeah. mulberry? Yeah. All right, so it's got the teeth on the edges. Yeah. And it's all one piece. Like these ones go in a little bit. Let's see here. This one kind of looks like it. It could be, but ours are all flat on the bottom. If you look at them, yeah, they all go flat. So let's cool. see here. Let's see. Do you see any that go flat but have um, that peak? Well, this one kind of looks like it, but no. Oh, this one. Do you think it could be that close to that hawthorn? Yeah, but this one is kind of curvy around. Mm -hmm. It's not like ding, 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 ding. What else do you see on this page that could be close with that hmm. flat bottom? Kind of almost has a line that goes across at the stem. Kind of this one does. Yeah. This one though has a little bit of the peaks, almost like mountain peaks coming outside. Yeah, it does. What about this one? Yeah, it does pretty much look like close? this one. Is it close? The Lombardi? So, Lombardi yeah. poplar. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get be able to get through all of them. So that tree that we saw might have been a Lombardi poplar tree. So we could ask the neighbor, we could ask Coach Mike if it could be this one, or even a balm of Gilead, which is also a poplar. Yeah, we could. Or it could be a trembling aspen, which is also a poplar. Yeah. Ooh. I think we're in the area with this one. This one looks just exactly like this. Mm -hmm. Almost. So, so it could close. be a scarlet oak? Yeah, it could be a scarlet oak. Scarlet oak. Scarlet. 50 scarlet. Good, scarlet oak. Yeah, how many does that one have? Like uh, individual little leaves? Like one, two, three um, on one side and then it peaks? One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's check pretty this, cool. Check the bigger one and see if it's the same. Hmm. One, two, yeah, we already know that. Has to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know well, what? this one's kind of small, so I think this one has more age. Yes, I think so too. So it looks like we're looking at a scarlet oak yeah. leaf. Awesome. I don't find one. So you can like put a yeah, echo big old check mark. What about oh my gosh, I just what? saw something. What, what? So right in there, I see like a little piece of thread. Not really thread, but it's like. Oh, you can see like the individual fibers? Mm-hmm. Wow. I like how it is. That's pretty amazing. Um, Alright. Well, this is a great book. Alright. Yeah. Let's look at them. Should we... Um, there's a couple different ways we can draw. We can... Um, we can look at them. Do you want to get your pencil too? We can look at them. Got it. And we can look at the shape that they are. We, we, we can try to trace them. Mm -hmm. Or we can try to trace them. And you can do this and make it for someone. Yeah. You like have a pencil or something like mm -hmm. that. There's a lot of things we can do with leaves. You want us to watch it? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Sure. Oh, that looks pretty good. Um, there, There, I think I managed tracing it. Yeah, that was a really good trace. And then it kind of like through here, mm -hmm. it has 
Put a little stem so the stem is going up. Mm -hmm. Up and up and up. All and right. then, let's be let's go in the same direction with our shading, okay. Then like that. Good. You looking at this one? Yeah, and I kinda like this one has things. Look at there. how they're going. They're kind of going at a curve. Do you see it? They're not oh, really yeah. going in straight lines, but they're kind of curving. Mm -hmm. Look at the direction they curve up. So they're kind of making this sort of shape. Almost like there's arms and they're going to hug you. So they kind of come out. Yeah. So it's kind of like... Mm -hmm. Look at how they go. And make sure you're not looking at your drawing too much. Look at the leaf. So look at the space between each one. Look at where they end. Do they end right here? Or do they end over at near the edge of the leaf? They end over. And keep your pencil nice and light. And then this one is really close to the, the stem right here. And look how far it goes. It goes all the way along there. Good. And then look yeah, at like, all these little ones coming out. Has that. It's kind of hard to see. That mm -hmm. one is barely hard to see. Yeah, you gotta look really close at it to see all these little lines coming off. It's almost like veins. You know when you look in your arm or look at your arm and you see your blood veins? See those little veins right there? Oh, yeah. It's kind of got the same direction Ooh, that tickles. as your leaf veins. Right there. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? That's my. That looks good. That's a good study. And then what was it called? We thought it was close to the. Um, I don't remember. Lombardi? Oh, it was a poplar, which is a type of tree. Oh, yeah. Poplar. Why are you racing Lombardi? But it's not Lombardi. Mm -hmm. It had two names, Lombardi Poplar. Oh, but then I'm just going to that. And then this one was the Scarlet Oak. Yeah, I, it should be Scarlet Oak. Okay.
wake up the watercolors with some water. All right, so there's some different colors going on in mine. There's this red, ish orange. Then there's also, like you, there's some yellow in there. So I'm gonna experiment. You, you don't have to use paint. You can use crayons or markers. This is true. Yeah, we, we got up and started a little bit. So how many minutes does it need? Um, three or four minutes. Okay. So about three or four more minutes. All right, explorers, well done. We can't wait to see how your nature art turned out. Even if you use markers, crayons, or colored pencils. Anything. I am, anything. Even if you didn't add color and you just used pencil, I am sure that it turned out awesome. We can't wait to see your work. Thank you for doing this nature. Uh, what did we do? Collecting, yeah. tracing, Thanks. exploring Sticks. with us. And we look forward to making art from nature or just about anything with you again.